Greetings comrades, my name is Gigantals and today is day 36, 30, yeah day 36 of Lend. So we're all, we're, we are almost there, um, Easter is, well the end of, the end of Lent is next month, is ne next month, the end of Lent is next week, we're almost there, continue to remain strong for the rest of this period of fasting and abstinence from whatever it is you're abstaining from. I've come home from Easter to celebrate the holidays with my family, though unfortunately I need to spend a lot of time working on my assessments. Because the week after Easter ends, so, okay, yeah, I think what's like three weeks from now or something, I need to hand in a um, one of my assessments. It's, a, it's a basically a thousand word essay about evidence for glaciation and the advance and retreat of the, ice, of the British Irish ice sheet uh, throughout the late Levensian which was around 33 to 11.7 thousand years ago. I'm just finishing that up. Um, not as we speak, because I'm doing this as I'm speaking, but I'm just finishing that up. Hopefully I can finish the majority of it today. So I'm going to go back a couple of weeks and talk about the situation with my poster. Look at our presentation. So the first thing... No, let me clear that up. So on Thursday, last Thursday, I had, I had two assessments to do. One was a... One was part of a, a part of a group presentation about about polymetallic nodules at the bottom of the ocean and their potential resource value. The other presentation was about well, it was a poster regarding my dissertation. So you know, you, I find it a bit I find it a bit strange how I can talk to you guys perfectly fine. Um, you know, I'm just looking to a camera and I'm yeah, I'm talking looking to a camera and I'm not necessarily imagining imagining like thousands of people out there watching me. But I'm pretty relaxed. I can talk properly. I'm not panicked or anything. When I was doing my presentation, well, my my part of the group presentation, my mouth became very dry, and I thought I was very concerned that my that my words are going to start sounding funny because it, it even just talking when I was trying to present what I was talking about, and I did a good job of that. But the problem was from my end, I wasn't sure if my tongue was making the right noises because I could almost just my mouth is just so dry. Everything sounded funny. Um, and there were only like maybe two dozen people in that room, so it's it's a bit strange in that regard. But I'm I'm grateful how I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling comfortable enough behind the camera that I can talk to potentially thousands or even millions of people, and I'm calm. Uh, you can more or less hear me. I more or less make sense. My tongue isn't making strange noises as my mouth dries out from nervousness. But I'm glad that hopefully we got good grades on that presentation everyone in my group did a good job and i definitely need to practice presentation skills and the ability to remain calm and not just let my mouth turn into the sahara desert when i'm talking in public i did mention that to one of the people in my group i said i can run a youtube channel i talk to thousands of people and i'm, I'm, I'm and i'm fine i talk to a group of two dozen people i've known for a bunch of years and my mouth gets dry from nervousness a bit strange that the second presentation I had to do was about my dissertation. So my the problem with my dissertation was it well my poster my my dissertation poster. It seemed like everything was against me when I was trying to do it though. You see, and this goes back to a few hours before, like the day before. Although I had although I had although I had handed in my poster um, in the necessary place on the one the on the uh, university website uh, where we were meant to hand it in. It turns out that one of my lecturers sent an email which said you need um, that apparently mine was in the wrong format, not just mine but a couple of others. It was in the wrong format, and so we needed to send it to him to print it off. Unfortunately, due to some problems with my with my emails, I only got, I never found that email the day before, and it was too late to send it to him. So I spent the rest of that evening trying to desperately find a place somewhere in my city to print it off. And I woke up early, I woke up early the next day. I went down to printing services, which I didn't know existed. I really got to. Next time I go to, uni to a university, I really need to make sure I understand where everything is. So I went to printing services, and they printed it off. It turns out though that the guy who was printing it off, he had a meeting in a few minutes, so I definitely caught him in the nick of time. Even if the presentation, even if that dissertation poster presentation, was happening later on in the afternoon. I just wanted to get this over done within the morning because I, I my day was fully stacked. I had a huge amount to do that day and I couldn't really afford any time to do anything else. So he, he printed it off. He printed it off. 
problem was if you print he printed it on the um on the curling side so when he when he wrapped when he rolled up this poster the words and stuff were on the outside so i so when i got back home to my accommodation for the few minutes until my next until my lecture i had to turn it in a sense inside out and try and roll it up that way which would have some problems later on and other than me running around my city between my between the place because we had breaks okay we had some breaks and stuff uh, throughout the presentation and so i was really hungry because i hadn't had anything to eat that day yet but i do i couldn't afford enough time to really make a meal make a meal or anything because simply put we were rushing around the city so much sorry we were rushing around the city so much and i had to rely on i wouldn't call it fast food because it's fast food but i had to eat food that i could eat fast because i i literally only had a few minutes to uh, to be at home to, to be at my accommodation and eat anything and then quickly rush back over to where we were doing presentations but that was over i had some time between the end of the group presentations and the dissertation presentations so i took my presentation so i took the um so i took my big a0 dissertation poster and i walked over to the building where we would be doing these presentations all of a sudden it started to rain so i opened up my coat and i put my dissertation poster underneath my coat and zipped it up and i tried to shield the parts of it at the bottom that was exposed and i was walking along problem was um i don't know why but all of a sudden it turned into like like it started to snow and then the snow became horizontal in due to the sheer force of the wind and so i had to somehow transport my poster you know like a, like a mile in in throughout my city in these snowstorm conditions and fortunately when i got into the building uh i found my poster was dry there wasn't any water damage the problem was in the process of rushing to get it in to get it inside the building so it wouldn't get wet i ended up ripping the poster a little bit in on one of the sides i showed it to one of my lecturers and he said you know what it's fine don't worry about it and so then they put up everyone's poster everyone's posters on they put they put sorry they put they put like velcro pieces of velcro on the back of everyone's poster and then just hung, uh, hung it around the room to dry they brought out boards to hang people's uh, stuff in the middle of the room too so we could all go around so everyone in my in, in my geology class could go around and look at each look at each other's posters and then all the lecturers went around one by one and they all talked to people about their posters and i got a good i got a good mark for from all my lecturers i think there were about eight of them there a couple of them i hadn't seen too often but the major but the rest of them including some who were you could say very you know had high standards very strict they were they were still impressed with my post and what i was proposing so we did well well i did well in, with that poster it literally survived the storm i literally walked through a storm to deliver this poster but that but when that day ended i was absolutely exhausted in addition from the stress of not getting much sleep the night before trying to find a place to print this poster i also had been walking around by the city for ages i had been trying not to be nervous when talking to my lecturers about my posters and my presentations but we but that's been sorted so two of the assessments done within that period of time uh within that's within the same day i'm grateful i'm grateful for that and so i'm just going to spend the rest of today and maybe tomorrow if i'm still not finished working on my on my glacier on my glacier essay and then after that i'm going to be going back to work working hard on my dissertation on my overall dissertation I've got work to do for that, so please pray that I am able to get that done and not be distracted, which I, for some reason, which which often happens, but just please pray that I don't get too distracted. Uh, yeah, also everyone else in my year, pray that this year's uh, generation, uh, this generation, or my years, and maybe all other years of people who are doing uh, their dissertations and GCSEs and A levels and whatever, they all do well in their assessments and their end of year ex end of year exams, and just just one more just one more week of lent and we can all relax a little bit after everything that well it's been a stressful year for some such as myself so hopefully all those who are stressed can have a break all those who who aren't as stressed please pray that everyone who is stressed will do well and that's it pretty much for this week so one more week of lent finishing assessments at a quick rate at a quick but reasonable rate so i don't run out of time 
And yeah, so see you in the next video, comrades. God bless you all. Until then.